vengeance. I am the knight. I am the Batman. became aware of Comic-Con and Supernova just through word of mouth and you know the internet obviously is what it is and um, you know I think loosely I'd see people um, you know catching the train at a certain time of year and they'd be all in these different costumes I'd be going oh, you know what's going on here so um, I think this became just through social media and just people talking I think was probably the biggest thing as far as local events. 2005 13, I think we did our first one, uh, myself and a mate, when it was uh, The Dark Knight and Bane. So I think The Dark Knight Rises had uh, recently come out. I borrowed a costume off uh, a friend's kid that sort of fitted me, it was about my height. It was just one of those rubies ones you get from Spotlight. A rubber mask, a pair of work boots, um, and some black gloves. And we just trolled along like that, and the exposure was just amazing. So. It, you know, challenges are more so in the design and my ability to, to try and, and make different things, um, which is still in its infancy, you know, but as far as sewing and, and, and putting things together, I, I think I'm, I'm really getting there. Challenges with my costume is that it's very hard to see out of it sometimes with the white eyes, so I lose the, the real colour of the conventions. Why Batman? He's just a good character and he's an all-rounder. People love Batman. The character I just think love the how he is, he's badass, he's also, you know, revered and feared. Um, he's a good guy, you know, but he's just has methods that, you know, are quite outside the norm. So outside of cosplay, um, I work as a transit officer and I've been doing that for 20 years now. Um, prior to that, I was in the army for four and a half years after leaving school. I like to get out and surf. Uh, I have a uh, real interest in um, research and family history, uh, military family history as well. I collect uh, insignia from various railway police agencies around the world. And cosplay has become a lot more fun. It's, it's allowed me to probably get back into being a bit more of a big kid again. I've always been a big kid. But it's given me that ability to have an excuse to do that. It's made me commit to things as far as going down to like say free comic book day it's made me look forward to um, the conventions it's, it's sort of allowed me to sort of knock off a couple of prejudices as well with respect to how people look in costumes and things like that so for me it's been a real um, a real sort of awakening from that perspective but it's also um, given me some great friends He's been coming in here for about five and a half years now. Pretty much as soon as we opened, he started coming in here and uh, he became a patron with us for that length of time. And uh, then we found out that he did the cosplay and we've been coming, getting him to come in here and do the various events that we have in store. Uh, the kids love coming in here and seeing Batman. So, you know, it's, it's always been a blast to have him here. And he always brings an atmosphere that we've always strived to get in store. So it's been fantastic. Cosplay, it, it's worldwide. People, you know, you've got the internet now. I use my Facebook page, which has got exposure, you know, you know, across the US, Canada, Australia, throughout all different countries. So cosplay itself, as far as an expanding um, interest and, and a plaything for people, is just bigger and bigger. And the Perth community is fantastic. Like, really, really good. My advice would be just do it. Find a costume that you like. I don't, it doesn't matter whether it's cheap and nasty, whether you spent weeks or months or years building it. If you like it, just go and do it. But, you know, I've dragged friends into it. Some of them have stuck with it, some haven't. But even if you don't want to get involved in cosplay, just go to a convention, see what it's all about. It's not just all nerds and geeks. There are people there from all walks of life. Uh, so, yeah, give it a go. Weird experiences, well, not so much weird Except for people that want to take a photo of you eating food when you're taking that five minute break. The pretty much, much weird, I'd say, different. Like I had a couple last year, at, or actually this year at uh, Comic-Con that took a photo with me at Supernova the previous year and their baby was only three months old and they tracked me down this year and they had another photo with their baby who was now 
you know, like 18 months old or 15 months old, so it's about a year apart. Um, so that sort of thing, whilst not weird, is like really rewarding when people want to actually find you to have that and have the photo, bring their kids into it, expose them in a little way, and it just makes you feel like what you're doing is really worthwhile. Because at the end of the day, you know, as much as I do that for me, it's I also do it because people get something out of it. Yeah.